Can you even hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? We're in the loud economy parking lot at LAX. And we're about to get another adventure cracking. Where are we headed, babe? Hey. But take your shirt off. Most importantly, we're headed to Michigan because I have a show in Michigan with Jerry Robinson. Huh? Yeah, that's exactly. We're fucking going Did everywhere. Did you forget? No. And then we're going to Illinois. So we're gonna hit a lot of new places. We're going to three states. We're gonna hit some places we've already been. Subscribe now. You don't want to miss out on this adventure, you guys. And it's all starting right now. Hello. We've made it to Vegas. We're on the tram to the next gate. We're on the shuttle to the next gate. So we can grab our our flight to St. Louis. And there's a lot of shit like this traveling in the middle that we don't always show you guys. Uh, it's not always so glamorous, but it happens. This is Vegas, you guys. If you've been here before, you know what it looks like. And we'll probably be here again. Uh, next stop, St. Louis. We just registered, got our swag bags, checked in. Yeah, Hell yeah. And they're playing the jams, gonna be my lover. Uh-huh, yeah. About to go into this general session. I got goosebumps already. By the end of this year, right in our eighth anniversary, we we'll would have three billion dollars in revenue since 2014. All right, guys. Here we are. Day one of Monations is complete. It's about 5 p.m. and we are headed to the Mers Goodwill bins down the it's street. It's supposed on to be market. the largest. Did you know St. Louis is supposed to have the largest bins in the United States? That's I didn't what know it that. said on Reddit. So can you Fun fact, fact huh? Hey, fact check me in the comments if I'm fucking wrong. Fact check us motherfuckers. Leave that comment. Until then, we're about ten minutes from Market Street. And um with any luck, these little hands are gonna pick some good shit out and haul home, haul home some bomb ass feet? vintage. That's right. what or something like you get your I don't know. Dirty? Maybe you just got your nails done. I did get, get my nails dirty. done. It's fine, they're gel. I'm gonna take off my beautiful little rings so I don't lose them. And I feel like I don't know why, but I feel like I'm gonna get like some type of like crazy I feel like I'm gonna find something crazy like a big like lamp or something. Like imagine I find like I walk in there and there's like like some kind of like like an artichoke lamp and nobody like Oh man, an artichoke <laughs> lamp. And nobody <laughs> nobody knows what it is or like like there's just a Picasso waiting What's for me, like a little mirror. What's an artichoke lamp? I would. I'm gonna put. I'll put a picture right here. This is what an artichoke look, lamp looks like. Right there Where? outside is the National Blues Museum of St. Louis. We went to Hooters earlier. How we was did. The Hooters? We Hooters. Hooters was a hootin' time, you guys. I haven't been there since I was about 12. And um, the weather is it was nice. Actually really the weather is nice today. in. It is super nice in St. Louis. It's nice. It's super nice. Right. Nice. Well, we'll see you guys at the bends right now. Oh, that's show. And here we are. Hey! Outside. We're at the Google Bends. My homie Show Off just pulled up. Boom. So it's about to be a whole adventure. It's where you can find the shit. Like, uh, can you explain it better? What do you mean? It's everything is just by the pound. So like, so, like, anything you'd find in a thrift store is just thrown into a bin, and then you pick it out, and then they charge you based off of weight. You'll find the So you, you get it, like, way cheaper. So let's see what we find. I think this is one of the people that are here to make money. <laughs> it's huge. Let me see. Boom, find number one off top. He's finding it. Look it. He got the Levi's. Boom. And he got this. The darkness. Look. So what you'll do is. This is real simple. Made in China. So now, Kiki, show them the. Look at the difference. All right. So you look at these. Made in America. Made in no, America. no China shit. But, however, tell them, Kiki, they what? will still buy those shits if they look cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you so, could still sell them if you wanted to for like 45 to 60 bucks, even like 25 bucks. So it just depends what you're looking for in a profit margin. Oh, show them the. Damn. Fine. 
got a first timer here. Teach him how to first find one pair of Levi's. Look. Wait, what's the Levi's? That's one pair of Wranglers. Got you got Wranglers? What are those? Wranglers. Cargos. Grab the Levi's. Oh, here's my. Uh, oh, look at these. This is Army, car Army Cargos. Marine Base Pants. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, decent, decent. Come on. Levi, Levi. <laughs> we got, got the, the big boys. The made in USA's with the zippers for the, yeah. you know, everybody in love size. Levi Jorts. Okay, there with the go. short, there yeah. We go. And Very you can nice. find all his items on St. Laurent, baby. Hey, <laughs> that's right. And he's right. out. Right, just okay. like that, he's in, he's yeah. out. And we got a whole bag full of shit ourselves. We just found these Key Imperial little bodysuit and everything. So uh, we're going to show you. We got one more little one of these bins to turn over. First things first. We're in line. We have the distressed Levi's. Now my friend Sam Walsh caught a pair of Levi's like this off us with an ass out. And he liked it that way. So He also stitched the crotch up and made him to his liking. So Now we have a Nancy South Dakota. Single stitcher. So, orange Ooh, tab. Blake's got more jean shorts. Yellow orange tab. Made in USA. National Rifles Association. Um, oh, hold on. Can't forget about, you know, it wouldn't be a thrift trip to the bins without a tie-dye Harley John. Oh, oh no, that's so much we got shit. so much more. Who's the darkness? Y'all ever heard of them? No. Little bandana. The Hoover Crib. It's a bright orange. Is that their colors? Yeah. Don, <laughs> Sean. This one's a good hitter. How many y'all been there? Ooh. I got a cool little towel. Show them the tag. Yeah, we have a towel collection. This is tough. Right here. Look like it. When was it? That was the last time I was at Ron John. When was it? That's like a... 70s, 80s time, oh, I want to yeah. say. Hold up, hold up, hold up. And then I pulled this one, nice little hitter. It's on the front and back. Ooh, oh, with the giant with tag. The tool on and then show them this little, this number. Right, I'm going to try to squeeze my ass in it. Yeah. This is probably the most expensive item we got today. It is fit me. They're 14. I think, I think they're going to fit me. They're kids, so I have to try to squeeze this little into it. <laughs> All right, how much do you think it's going to cost? It's one fifty nine per pound. How much do you think it's gonna cost? Well, this is at least put it in the comments. How much this you think is at it's least gonna two cost? Pounds. Two, not three. So let's say how much? We're looking at like seven bucks. Okay, let's say you got seven. I'm gonna say two, four, six. I'm gonna say twelve, twelve twenty seven. And you said what? Seven dollars. All right, we'll put. Welcome to Price Is Right. Where the price is right in the comments. So leave that comment and tell us what price you think it is before we find out the truth. Moment of truth, babe. How much does it weigh? I only got seven bucks, so I need to. Okay, what's the bet? He says seven, I said 12.27. 17. Who's closer? You most definitely ain't making it. Damn. You got to take it all back. You better pick out what you really want. And you said how much? 1227. And you got to pay for it. Yeah. 1269. <laughs> she rigged it. I don't know tax. I don't know tax. <laughs> I don't know tax. How it do I gonna, do that? It was going to be seven bucks. <laughs> <and she laughs> no. I didn't have shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Uh, you got the pounds, right? All right, you Seven got Seven pounds. You got a nice For twelve sixty nine. Nice and that's, that's how, how you, you do it. That's how it's done. Hey. Hey, there's our friends. Right, drive safe, how much did you spend? Eleven? We spent twelve ninety sixty nine really? too, yeah. Damn, ours is like the same. All right. Yeah, then June just heavy. That. Twelve bucks. A weezer? Alright guys. Right. We got one more in us. It's like 7 30, mm -hmm. 8 o'clock now. My phone's about to die. It's like has a it's sliver of percent. What time is it? Goodwill closes at 6 31. Oh shit. Okay, well, we gotta get in here. And my stomach feels like it's 8 o'clock because I guess I'm hungry. But we're gonna go shop this. If I have battery, you're gonna see it. If it dies, 
You're gonna see what It'll we be got. tomorrow. I'll show you what we got either way. Just subscribe if you haven't. So, I'm going in. What's that? I don't know if you guys have done these before, but I used to love these when they're at the mall. Can you guys see what it is? If you can, leave it in the comments. Whoa! Woo! We got the sun. Turn around. All right. They can't so, even see. Yesterday, we hit big at the bins. Shout out to Austin, Saint Laurent baby. He's a big grilled uh, Rick Owens, Saint Laurent reseller. Now he's a vintage reseller. Um, but we brought him and his girlfriend to the bins, and now we're headed to my show in Muskegon, Michigan. Right now we're in Illinois, so we're we gonna stop at- We left St. Louis, we okay? We St. So Louis, so we're update. stopping. And you know what? We're walking right past the oh, entrance. This is the exit. Yeah, Blake is in charge of this one, you guys. You gotta tell him. You don't even know where we're at. We're at the Salvation Army. We're in Lynchwood. Lynchwood. We've okay. left more nations, we've left St. Louis, and we're headed to Muskegon, Mus how you say it? Muskegon. Muskegon, Muskegon, Ooh, nice. Michigan. Nice oh shit, look at it. Welcome. <laughs> hey guys, we're in the back of the store, checking out the knickknacks, making sure we don't miss any trinkets, any miscellaneous merchandise, any assorted goods. goods. But while I'm back here, I might as well show you because we found some stuff. Look, Blake came right out, pulled out this hot little number right here. Look at that. Yep. Read it. Let's say Miller High Life. Boom. One. Then he came and hit me with the two. The two was these right here. Look at these. These are like 1960s, 1970s. Made for men with the fancy stitching and the orange tab. They're like size 40. You already know for the big guys. And then we got this little cutie right here. Little NASCAR, Kellogg's, Snapback. You already know. I'm hitting. We just, Missouri is actually, I think we're in Illinois. Illinois always gives, they just give. All right, so I'ma tell y'all a little story. We're on the road. And we are, where are we, babe? Lexington, Illinois. We're Lexington. And we pulled over at this Casey's. Casey's, gas, rest stop, uh, convenience store. Okay, so let me tell you. Years, me and this man have been together years. And, uh, hold on, he left the fucking car running, door open, everything. This, that's how many years we've been together, okay? So let me tell you. Ugh. So basically, for years, he was like, I swear to you, Casey's Pizza is fire. And I'm like, nah. He's like, it's a Midwest shit. Midwest, we have the best pizza. Trust me. He's, uh, you know what? This man, I love pizza. I love me some pizza. This man is not wrong. Girls, if you love you some pizza, especially my California girls, pizza, you like pizza, girl, get, you, get over Domino's get you a midwest man and he gonna fucking do you right let me tell you casey's is fire that's what we're doing here there was a lot going on in there i was gonna show you how they have it on the little pizza display basically generic like if you were to go into like amp pm this ain't no ordinary gas station but pizza this is oh my gosh you guys try it try it and then this is better than most say, pizza spots in the facts this is better than Joe's Pizza. This is better than Domino's. This is fucking fire. If you try to leave a comment right now and tell me how, you tell Casey's me you like pizza. Casey's. Just write Casey's Pizza is the bomb in the comments. Casey's Pizza is fucking fire. Look, tell me how much you love fucking Casey's. Seriously, it's fucking. I'm about, I gotta eat. Yeah, yeah. It's the rock in the building, and I got the fucking Elvis shirt on. Ooh. Okay, so one thing we didn't it show you. It smells still from the, like this lady's house. The one thing we didn't show like, you. Like cinnamon, vanilla. Can I tell them? a 20 year old age, barrel. It smells like some candles, like it was sitting in a box of candles. But anyways, one thing we didn't show you when we pulled up, Blake had already had some shit set up, like how he set has it set up right Big now. Plays. And when we landed, we went directly to this woman's house and picked up this Elvis She's shirt. This lady, this lady, this, listen, to, listen to how people are in the Midwest. This lady 
was like, all right, pull up. And she said, I'll leave it in the mailbox. Just put the money in the mailbox. You know, I could, I could have done what I wanted to do and just take the shirt, but I put the twenty dollars in the mailbox, guys. We don't. We're I could have told her to put five shirts out there and she would have done it. That's what I love about people in the Midwest. They're so trustworthy. We even did you know that like until recently, we used to, used to be able to pump your gas at the fucking pump and then pay after. Did you know that y'all still in all? Y'all still be leaving your doors open? Why you gotta tell everybody that? It's unlocked. Just saying. Yeah, I love y'all. I love the Midwest. I don't. We don't dial nine one one, motherfucker. That's why they leave their we doors leave unlocked, that guys. Unlocked. So disclaimer, yeah, they leave that shit unlocked. Welcome to my but, house, but, motherfucker. Go ahead and go in. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to my house. <laughs> Better make a U-turn. You know what I'm saying? So, um, we're in fucking Michigan. We're in Holland. My it's little cousin Holland, Alana Michigan. goes to um, school here. Shout out Alana. What's up? She's coming to the show tonight. It's gonna be a huge deal. If you didn't know by now, Stop we're in Michigan. Salvation Army. We're in Michigan for. Blake show. Plug your show, Blake. Uh, Jerry Robinson, Blake Banks of Strange Music. We're playing at the Paradise Event Center tonight in Muskegon, Michigan. Um, 21 Plus, Serendipity Edibles. Shout out to Lisa and Jason. They really hooked it up and had us come out here. I haven't played in Michigan since I played with Riff Raff at St. Andrew's Hall back in like probably 2002. No, 2000. Yeah, 2018, maybe? 2020? Yeah. 2002 I was 12. Um, I was gonna say 2002 until the But yeah, I haven't been up there. here forever and this is Kiki's first time in Michigan, so I'm a first time. What do we do? We give y'all a fucking Michigan episode. So here it is. We're knocking out the 50 states, motherfuckers. Next next stop. Salvation Army. Check out this place that we're passing. It's called the Wooden Shoe. Antique Mall and Restaurant. Antique Mall and Restaurant. Now in the mid like in the Midwest, we have a lot of antique malls. Um I mean, like, they do all over the United States, but in the Midwest, like, for some reason, antiques were really fucking huge. My dad owned two antique stores growing up. What do you mean for some reason? This is where, like, America... Yeah, I guess, but what at these antique stores is kind of, like, rustic shit, um, old collectible... Well, like, 1700s, 1800s, yeah. early 1900s. So you're 1900s. not going to find, find the Midwest, I um, mean, the mid-century modern, or really that much vintage clothing, but you will sometimes, and it will be cheap when you go there because... You know what I'm saying? Well, so, that's kind of a broad statement, not saying that they're not going to find vintage clothing. Okay, because, I'm going to stop talking. Well, no, kidding, don't, not, don't not stop talking yeah. because you will find vintage clothing regardless. But based on your demographics and where you're located, the geography of what's going on, you have to think about the habits of how people lived and what they were doing. And so when you come to the Midwest and you come to small towns, like if it was just a mining town, if all they do is do work in factories here, then all you're gonna find is a bunch of American workwear and it will be vintage and you're gonna find stuff like NASCAR that. Shit. If you go to a, a town where they're big on bikers, like you go to Sturgis, you're gonna find a lot of Harley wear, you're gonna find a lot of leather, you know what I mean? So you have to think about the demographics of where you're at and where you're going and what you're looking for. And then that's how you find your shit, you know what I mean? It's like digging for gold, basically. Yeah. Welcome to the Salvation Army Worship and Community Center. Fuck! It's not gonna be open till Sunday. Fuck! So, we're headed to Muskegon. Ha ha! Guess what? But we found- I picked the wrong one. I put the wrong one in my GPS. Maybe, maybe not, but we found this, or it found us. Whoa, um, look, Blake doesn't know where he's going. He's trying to go get some tobacco. You gotta hit the door over here. We even pulled up and the sign was off. It said off. What did it say off? It open sign was off. And I had to look and see, is there anybody even in here? Because this bitch is dark. Look, it looks dark. So hopefully there's something in there for us because it found us. I like your hat. <laughs> How much do you have? Well. Man, they didn't have shit there. Nothing. And then I walked in and then I saw the employee in a fucking Dale Earnhardt. Intimidated Sit hat with eyes on with it. The lightning. lightning coming down and I'm like, bro. Let me buy that off. He's like, Shh. and I like walked up to him later, and I was like, man, let me get that. I got five bucks for you. I got he, five. He thought he thought real hard. He's like, I just I got, got it. I just got it. it. And I, I think maybe he just didn't want to take his hat off. I think he wanted ten. I wasn't about to do ten. I can't do ten. <laughs> Trap. 
step, like <laughs> dub step, but trap. What? <laughs> Like as an artist, like when you make some shit, you're like this is my favorite painting, like this is my shit right now, like this is my favorite picture. If you're a photographer, you know what I'm saying. So <clears throat> I want to give it to you guys, you know what I'm saying. This is one of my favorite joints. I want to thank you guys for all rock with me tonight. I got merch in the back, you know what I'm saying. You can check out everything at blakebanks.com. Shout out Jason and Lisa for bringing me out. Give it up for them one time. Uh, without further ado, this is my last song called Last Call. Make some noise, Michigan. Let's go. Get your hands up in the air like this. Hey. More money, more problems, you can have it all. I'ma do my thing until my casting falls. I've been around the world and it's so small. Still the bond to the same business call. I woke up, I'm dreaming. I'm thrown up, I'm dreaming. And I still can't find out what's the meaning of love. Uh, and you can have it all. Truck. Pull up on the scene, all the hoes go nuts. Dip it through the back row, sipping. Jack's filling out the cold pieces. Come on! I'm still tripping, I ain't quitting, still popping them sands. Money falling out the sky, watching land in my hands. I just stuck to the plan, I had to stay there. Let's get you back some noise! Full time job, just staying alive. Fell in love with the journey, I belong for the ride. And it feels so crazy. Come on! Welcome to the hard times hey. More money, more problems, you can have it all I'ma do my thing until my cast is falls I've been around the world and it's so small Just put the thoughts in to say this last call I woke up, I'm dreaming, I thought up, I'm feeling And I still can't find what's the meaning of love uh, And you can have it all And you can have it all Said these highways don't lead to heaven Miles away, it's 11 11. It's starting to rain like leather jacket, it's a cold, cold world. So self destruct to blow up the whole world. All this money in my pockets, I steal your whole world. Come on! Yeah. You can have it all. That's a dark day in the brightest night. Baby, don't let go, you gotta hold me tight. Cause I've been so low. Let's come on, make some noise, hands up! Been so low, just trying to get more money, more problems, you can have it all. I do my thing until my cast is gone. I've been around the world and it's so small. Just feel the bond, tend to say this last call. I woke up, I'm dreaming. I thought I was feeling. And I still can't find what's the meaning of love. Uh, and you can have it all. And you can have it all. I'm not fucking with this one, man, for me. so much fun i smoked so much weed i ate so many edibles i got high as fuck in michigan it's kind of rainy right now outside we're headed to illinois we're pumping up some gas look at this man got me a fago fucking fago <laughs> i need the water though yes life Take and blood change
Yeah, where's contacts? Fucking. You fucking weird ass looking motherfucker. Where's pink shoes? Like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Does he really? Alright, guys, we started this journey on the 7th. And it is now the 12th. And we are in Iowa. You guys know this spot. We've been here a million times. You guys can see all the episodes on the channel. So let's get up in there and see what we get today, you guys. Salvation Army, Clinton, Iowa. Half off color of the week is white and Halloween decorations are out, so. Clinton, Iowa is really hit or miss, you guys. Huh. Uh, we didn't find anything, so. On to the next. On to the next. So, right. as another episode comes to an end, this is how it's ending, you guys. I hate to break it to you guys this way, but we're in the airport at Las Vegas, you know, once again. And uh, we're about to hop on this flight back to Los Angeles. What time, what, what time is our flight start? It's supposed to start boarding at 1.30, so they're about to plan the plane and let us on. And done a lot of good stuff. We've been all their friends. We had fun at Mo Nations. We had a great show in Muskegon. Team got to see Michigan for the first time. We got this cool poster. I'm gonna show you guys hung up in the black light. Wall. Flash. 